Hi there, welcome back to Let's Cook with Michelle. Today we're going to use my new pasta maker. Um, this is the emerald one that I unboxed in a previous video. So the instructions called for two of these cups of flour. I don't know if it's a normal cup, but I used the one that came with the machine. So two cups of flour and a teaspoon of salt. They're in this bowl here. I have two eggs beaten in this container. We do a tablespoon of olive oil. And then I take the container and I fill it up so that the line is goes to 150 for the water. So I'm gonna fill it up the rest of the way so it stops at the 150 for the water. You can hear my bread oven behind me. I hit on and then batch button twice for two. So now it's mixing and I slowly add the ingredients in. I'm also making a really simple homemade pasta sauce to go with this. So you'll see me make that in a minute, but I need to get the pasta done first. And the one thing I didn't like is that the pasta cutters are not labeled with the type of pasta. You just have to look at the slits and assume that you know which one you're making. I believe I select the fettuccine option. Okay, so the pasta has been stirring for just a couple of minutes, and now it's starting to kick out my pasta which looks like fettuccine. And it said to cut the pasta when it gets about 10 inches long. That's about the average length of pasta, which I don't know. I'm just gonna cut it, I guess, where I want to. It looked like the mixture was too dry, like it wasn't going to be enough moisture to generate the pasta, but it's coming out just fine. I love that I don't have to roll this out um, and feed it into, you know, a KitchenAid or another type of a attachment to make the pasta. So it just does it on its own, which is really nice. Okay, it looks like the pasta maker is done. It's got almost all of the mix is out of there. There's barely any left. So this, this is the fettuccine and this is a double batch that I've got made here. So I'm gonna go ahead and warm up some water and boil it briefly and make some sauce to go with it. We'll try it together, so give me a minute. In my pan here I have two tablespoons of olive oil and two tablespoons of butter. And this is a double batch. So this is supposed to be enough for 16 ounces of pasta but I like my pasta really saucy, so I probably will have some extra pasta. But um, So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this all warmed up. Once this is warmed up, I'm gonna add my garlic to it, and then I can make the rest of it once I get my water from my pasta. Okay, so I've got my oil and my butter heated up in my pan, so now I'm gonna add some minced garlic. Okay, I tested my pasta and it's ready. So I need to take two cups of my pasta water and put it in a separate bowl here with two chicken bouillon cubes. Okay, so I've got the pasta drained. I saved the two cups of the pasta water. You dissolve the bouillon cube in the water and then add the water and the cream to the pasta. Two cups of cream. So now we just let this kind of stew for a little bit and come to a boil. And then once this boils, I immediately add in my shredded cheese 
which the shredded cheese, so I don't forget to tell you, is Italian style. It's got um, mozzarella, provolone, parmesan, romano, fontina, and asaggio. I'll show it to you. You may not have heard it with my daughter making her little songs in the background. All right, so I'm gonna wait till this comes to a boil and then I'll add in my cheese. Okay, it's just about boiling here, so I'm going to wait just another minute. There it goes, it's boiling now. So I'm gonna dump in all of our cheese and mix it around so the cheese gets all melted. I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper into it too, and then we will put some of this on the homemade pasta. You can hear my daughter. She's always gonna be in the background. You can see that the cheese is all melted here. I'm going to add just a little bit of pepper. And a little bit of chopped green chives. You could add lots of things in this, but I just, I really wanted just a very simple sauce for this pasta. But you could do so many things to give this more flavor. You could saute up some, some type of a protein. You could have chicken or shrimp with it. Shrimp is one of my favorites. You could put some um, cooked spinach, red pepper, um, sun-dried tomatoes. You could put so many different things in here to add a lot more flavor, mushroom. Um, but I just wanted it to be very simple. But okay, let's get some of this homemade pasta. Some people like to mix the pasta right in with the sauce. I like to put the sauce on top of my pasta because whatever you don't eat, the leftovers, all of the sauce gets absorbed into the noodles. And I like my sauce. I like a lot of sauce in my noodles, so. And a little bit of fresh grated Parmesan. And here it is, the homemade pasta with the homemade sauce. Just a simple, uh, cheesy pasta topped with a little bit of fresh Parmesan and chives. Let's test it out. It's got lots of sauce on it. I've never made home, homemade pasta before, so let's see how it is. It was a simple pasta. <gasps> I'm not sharing this with anyone. This is so good. The cheese, the flavor, it was really, really easy. I like this better than a regular Alfredo. It has a lot more flavor. Mm-hmm. Look at it. The noodles are wonderful. Creamy, cheesy sauce. The pasta maker made it very, very easy. I highly recommend this. This is really good. Definitely, definitely put this on your list. Mm. All of my videos are on YouTube, Facebook, and TikTok. All of my full videos are always on YouTube at Let's Cook with Michelle. Make sure you follow and subscribe. Thanks for checking it out.